Hey everyone, Supraja here from Testleaf. Today, I am excited to show you a powerful tool that will make your Selenium test automation more effective and efficient. So the topic here is generating random data using Faker API. So the agenda here is we are going to see about what is Faker and why I should use it, the pain points like realistic data, efficiency, maintainability, and why I should use Faker API with Selenium Java. And we'll also see a live demo and running the test case and the inference. So, yeah. So let's dive into the topic of today's video, why you should use Faker API with Selenium Java. You see, when it comes to test automation, there are three significant pain points that we often encounter. The first pain point here is realistic data. The, fir you, the first point is generating realistic data for our tests. You are testing a registration form and you need to fill in names, email addresses, and other useful information. Faker API can help with that. With Faker API, you can easily create lifelike data. Need a random name? Faker's got it. An email address? No problem. Addresses, phone numbers, dates, you name it. This realism in your test data makes your test more robust and closer to real world scenarios. And the second pain point is actually the efficiency. Writing code to generate test data from scratch can be a big time consuming process. We have better things to do, right? Faker API simplifies this process. With just a few lines of code, you can generate a wide range of data. It's quick, it's easy, and it saves your valuable time and effort. This means you can focus on what truly really matters, like writing effective test cases. The third pain point here is maintainability. Lastly, we come to the third pain point, which is maintainability. As applications evolve, so does our test data. Keeping up with these changes can be a very big headache. But with Faker API, maintaining test data is a breeze. Updates are a snap, ensuring your test scripts remain accurate and up-to-date. No more digging through your code to make small adjustments. Faker API does the heavy lifting. So normally, whenever you uh, store data for your test cases, you will store that data in your Excel sheet. So in your Excel sheet, you will have only limited data generation. If it is for thousand number of test cases, how would you do that? Figure API makes your life much easier. Now let's put theory into practice. I will show you how to use Figure API in a Selenium Java test script. We will generate some random data to fill out a registration form. So let's... So why to use Figure API? The first point is we have to... Uh, generate realistic test data generation. The second point is improved efficiency. And the third point is code maintainability. So how do you start this? First, you have to import the Faker, API, Faker library. First, you have to visit mavenrepository.com and search for Java Faker. Copy the Faker dependency from that and then paste it in your pom.xml and create an object for your Faker class and import it. So now here, let's go to the code. Here I have written a code with a UI bank path where I have to fill in a registration form. In this, I have created a faker class and I have created an object for it. And here, see the method name is fake dot the object. I'll use the object name fake and I'll call the method name. And if I want to generate first name, I'll call first name. And if I want to generate a middle name, name dot middle name, I'll call that method. And if I want to generate last name, fake dot name method, and I'll call last name method. And even if I want to generate a birth date, a random birth date, I can also do it by calling date method and birth date. And I can even format it by uh, using simple date format class and I can use it in my test code. So, and then if I want to generate a username and email address, a password, everything is possible using Faker class. Okay, so after generating all these, I'll store it in a variable and like first name, middle name, last name and everything. And finally in my code, wherever I have that 
uh, wherever I have to pass the data, let's say if I want to enter first name, so I find the element first by using the locator and then in the send keys, I'll pass the generated randomly generated first name. And then here, like middle name, right? I have already generated a random middle name and it will be generated and I will add it in my Selenium test. So wherever needed, I will add in my Selenium test. Whatever random data is generated will be added in the selenium test so here last name i have passed age username email address password is already passed which is actually generated by the faker api now let's run this code and understand how it is generated so have a quick watch in this first it is going to launch the uh, browser and then it will launch i mean load the url and finally it will maximize and i have even applied implicitly wait here and if I want to generate an Indian name or any, you can also generate a local name, right? So for that purpose, I have used a locally class here. It's not only in Indian language, it can be in any language. Okay, so it is loaded, UI bank is loaded. And now it is entering first name, last name, and it is finally done. Now the registration okay. form is done by using Faker API. Okay, so now when I run for the next time, it is going to generate a different name. Okay, so now if you go and see that, first it is entered Halas and now it will enter a different name. So each time when you run your test cases, it will generate random data what you have generated in your code. So now the first name is different, it is Stephen here. Okay, so this is how you generate random data and the step here is first you have to import it then uh, copy the dependency and then import it and use it in your class so generating random data is uh, it's not a very tedious process using figure api like this you can generate all these data store it in a variable and finally you apply your data in your selenium test that is wherever you have send keys wherever you want to pass the data you will put all those data in the send keys format that is how we are generating random data is once you generate your random data you are using your data in the selenium test more effectively so the conclusion here is the inference is java faker is a very powerful tool for creating realistic test data in selenium automation it helps streamline test case development ensuring more accurate and comprehensive testing with this fast library of data types faker simplifies data generation for a wide range of scenarios so by leveraging Java Faker, you can enhance your test automation process, saving time and improving test coverage. So to sum it up, Faker API is a fantastic tool for enhancing your Selenium Java test automation. It helps you with realistic data, boosts efficiency and simplifies maintainability. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Selenium Java tips and tutorials. And of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video valuable. If you'd like to connect me, connect with me or explore more resources related to test automation, check out the links in the description below. Until next time, happy learning. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Test Leaf. Thank you so much.